Right, this is just going to be a quick video um, to show you the last few finishing bits that I did on the car before she went for her IVA test. She is actually on the road now, but um, I'm afraid I'm not going to show you exactly what she looks like yet. You're going to have to wait uh, for the final instalment of these, uh, these video files before you can see that. So I mounted the headlights and these little um, indicators. They, I think they, I don't know whether they are nine quid for a pair off the internet, which is a bargain. Um, as you can see at the uh, front of the headlight there, there is a little bit for the IVA test covering those sharp edges, pain in the arse that it is. The rear lights from the back side, um, made up my own bracket and lights. These are actually covers for a tow hook, <laughs> would you believe? They don't look too bad. Reused the side indicators off the MX-5 and just used a rough cut of the uh, the side panelling to, uh, to hold bracket them in. And also uh, put a wire mesh in that the rear quarter as well. Or should I say front quarter? Wing mirrors? Well, then off the MX-5 as well. I know they're not the most stylish in the world, but uh, I, there are some budget constraints here. Used another little bit of an off cut from the side panels and shaped it so that you could bolt them straight on. It's not too bad actually. The instrument pod is in. Um, again, I used another bit off cut which I moulded. If you heat it up, it moulds quite nicely uh, from the uh, side panels uh, to sort of extend the cowling, as you can see. All in position with an aftermarket steering wheel. Of course, that won't pass the IVA, it had to be changed. Put the old one back on for that. Use just another off cut from the material for the side panels to uh, make this um, uh, gator surround. It's not brilliant looking, but it's all right. Rear filler went here, used some um, aftermarket flexible hosing to extend it down to the pipe, but there's quite a kink in it, and unfortunately, it is very slow to fill. I'm not sure I'd recommend this, uh, this option, this solution. Aero catches for the bonnet, mounted in the middle, halfway down, should I say, between the uh, front and back. Connecting rods for the aero catches were bracketed onto the side of the, um, the suspension upright support which you can see here, if that makes sense. <laughs> Every edge has to be covered for the IVA test, all the nuts covered with these line nut bolts here. It kind of adds up to the cost of the build. I got rid of the back box on the exhaust. I've got a silencer in the middle now, and uh, these pipes exit pretty well uh, in the centre point. I've also used an old, um, well it wasn't an old, I bought this uh, storage box that I've chopped down and it now makes this back piece. I refurbed the alloys, uh, sprayed the, the spokes black as you can see and polished the um, the rims. Uh, they didn't come, come out quite as shiny as I was hoping but they, you know, it looks pretty good. Right, well that's it, I've shown you all the, um, the finishing parts. The car has actually now been IV8'd, and since summer is approaching, I have been out on the road with her a couple of times, and in fact, I've just been out now. Very enjoyable it was too. And as I said earlier, if you want to see the full car, you're gonna have to watch the next video, because I'm gonna make a proper, proper little promo of her. So, watch this space.